Hey everyone, Catch'em All Collectibles here with a purchase video. I haven't done one of these in a little while, and I think most of the recent ones would have been more focused, like the things that I purchased from Golden or Heritage specifically. This video is just going to be a little bit of a, a mix of things I've been buying over the past month. The backdrop is very relevant. <laughs> um, I mentioned in my couple opening videos that I was going to buy certain cards from celebrations if they got too cheap um this is just one of those right now i haven't really targeted any others yet but i started buying this at seven dollars a piece <clears throat> worried that it might not get down to my five dollar piece target and i've picked up some copies as low as slightly under three dollars a piece buying them in semi-bulk beautiful card gold star greninja Top 10, I think, popularity Pokemon going off of some recent surveys. So you really can't go wrong there. This card I actually picked up from, a lot of people might know, uh, Dave Person. He's got a YouTube channel. He's uh, He's got one of the big, I mean, probably the biggest, most comprehensive, like, English collections in, in all of the hobby. He's got all the... All the World Championship half art and full art Pikachus. Really an amazing collection if you want to go check it out on his channel. He actually posted a video where he showed every full art Pikachu and half art Pikachu all in one. So that was cool. Um, some other promos. This is just a few of them. But I think I'm super late. Probably will be the theme with certain things in this video. Um, late to the party with certain things. But that's kind of how I like to be. I like to let things kind of settle out. I finally picked up my first Eevee Heroes after all this time. Um, so I had heard a long time ago that there was going to be a reprint. I think that was supposed to be in July. It ended up being more recent, later than that, semi-recently. I don't even know exactly when it landed, but my target had always been 100 bucks a box. I was able to pick up multiple cases at sub $100 a box direct from Japan. So I, I went for it. I don't know if I'll open any. Probably just have it sealed because it's it's a beautiful box. It's got all the evolutions. Um, not much else to say there. I really do wish I had the hookup to get that at distributor pricing. I mean, paying $100 is definitely a fairly risky thing, kind of paying full, full market price. But obviously, it's a lot better than having bought at... hundred and I don't even know what they peaked at in the, in the <clears throat> mid-high hundreds, <clears throat> I believe. So, another, I guess, kind of an oddball thing. The next couple of things I have to show you are kind of oddball. I saw a lot of people talking about this. I don't really watch animes at all. My Hero Academia is supposedly a fairly popular one. And I heard about this on the... I forget when I first heard about it. I think I heard somebody bring it up on that show I was on on Swami's channel and then I saw a couple other people mention it maybe on here e4 discord somewhere Instagram apparently first edition just dropped relatively recently a couple weeks ago I picked this up a couple cases worth just complete throwing money at something um really uneducated on it kind of like the worst way to throw money around and invest in something just with how crazy everything's been recently it's a complete gamble 100 bucks a box i've seen that they're available at 85 or so so they're already i guess i'm down 15 percent from from where i bought in but my thinking is yeah money's just been flying all over the place kind of a weird a weird thing but throw a little money at different speculative things, one of which I'm going to show you next, uh, which I've talked about and opened on the channel, but MetaZoo. Yeah, I mean, some of these new card games, really, really crazy what they're doing these days. So I, I kind of took a shot here. We'll see what happens. We'll see, kind of laying it out there. I can look like a fool six months to a year. I didn't go crazy with it. I think I... Oh, I forget. 12 or 18 boxes, maybe. 1500 to $2,000. Somewhere in there. 
Yeah, it was probably 18 boxes because I think it was in the $1,500 to $2,000 range. Um, these next promos, actually, um, oh yeah, there it is. I was going to say I had one more card I wanted to show. So I've had my eye on, I, I never got the whole Mothman hype. I didn't even know who Mothman was until MetaZoo became a thing. And apparently he's the Charizard of MetaZoo or whatever. But <clears throat> Kickstarter Hollow, Bigfoot, everyone knows Bigfoot. I think his recognition with Americans is probably as high as Pikachu worldwide. I don't know if he's as much of a thing, but I think he's pretty big. So to me, he seems like the chase card. So I went and got a Kickstarter big, Bigfoot for a few hundred bucks. I'll detail these ones a little bit more in depth um in the meta zoo video and i mentioned i was going to do the meta zoo video next this video is going live wednesday <clears throat> i was going to do the meta zoo video for friday but um my nightfall boxes are actually slightly delayed so i'll probably be doing that one next week potentially even after the podcast so but when i do it i'll kind of detail more in depth what i paid for these cards this one, it's Cryptid Nation, kind of like a promo. I didn't open a spell book. I actually opened just, I actually didn't open any Kickstarter product. I, I bought the sealed boxes, but apparently a thousand spell books were made. This is the promo that I believe only comes in the spell book. So this is a one of a thousand, kind of on par with the rarity of a Kickstarter hollow, right around that thousand mark. So if, if, um, MetaZoo stays relevant, becomes a thing long term. One thing that's kind of concerning to me is like how many one of 1,000 or less. There's the sample cards with one of 100 each. There's, which I've actually been trying to buy a couple of different ones, but no luck yet. There's these various promos, 500 each, 100 each, 1,000 each, 2,000 each. So there's a lot of low print runs as far as if this really becomes a thing, but there's a lot of cost being there's a lot of future positivity being built into these prices so it is highly highly speculative um just to put that all out there um and then this one i actually got <laughs> i did take the plunge and go for a rudy promo kind of like the first edition um <clears throat> the first edition boxes cryptid nation i eyed him at 250 and i hemmed in hot over it and i just waited and then I ended up buying 12 of them or so at 500 a piece. I looked at this at 200, 300, 400, and I'm like, it's gonna, there's no way. I ended up buying it a little over 500. I forget exactly what I paid, but again, I'll show it. Um, I did get another playmat, so I've got a couple of little playmats now. Um, I just, I'm a patron, so I plan to pick up Rudy's either this Friday or next Friday. He's gonna do a nightfall kit. Hopefully, I'll be able to get it before it sells out. This is going to be the first in a series. So again, if if MetaZoo stays relevant, if Rudy keeps doing the kits with every release, which he's intending to, this is going to be first in a series. It's, <laughs> love it or hate it, it's a thing. And yeah, again, this is just some amount of my fun money that I'm highly speculating with these along with the the box that I know very little about, but kind of the where we're at the world we live in um <laughs> this card <sighs> funny story to to likely uh this will this will be the second to last thing for the video the last thing won't really be a purchase but it'll be a teaser so this card i, I remember i'll probably remember for a while where i was when i saw it. i was grocery shopping hopped in my car i just happened to like browse ebay quick to see if anything was new before i i went back home I saw this auction ending. This was like hours after selling or maybe days. It was only hours after selling and shipping the Red Cheeks PSA 10 first edition Pikachu that I sold for 4,900. I saw this thing at auction ending for a little over 2,000. And you might have heard, you might be thinking like, well, you said Red Cheeks and this is a Yellow Cheeks. Yes. I made the mistake bidding on this thinking I was... Buying back the card I just sold for forty nine hundred, I thought I was buying it back for a little over two thousand. No idea what Yellow Cheeks went for at the time. Complete mistake. I I bid on it. I won. I realized it. 
I sent a screenshot of it to Nick, actually, to old school. <laughs> and right when I sent the screenshot to him, I'm like, look at this. I just sold the card and bought it back for 2000 cheaper the same day. I realized it was Yellow Cheeks and I made a mistake. And I, I'm i uh, an honest man. I still went through and paid it. Um, I think I have this lowest listed on eBay for like 2600 or best offer, which to me feels really high for what it is. Even the Red Cheeks felt high for what it was. But I am the lowest listed on eBay at 2600 I think I'd barely break even if it sells for that. It hasn't. If and when. I mean, if someone wants this for what they've been going for, I think they've been around that $2,000 mark. I am willing to take a loss to get out of it. And I'll kind of have that memory of like, hey, make sure you double check. Know what you're buying before you bid on an auction with 20 seconds left. So just figured I'd include that little mistake just I, I think too many youtubes too many people act as if they're they're perfect everything they say is gospel they do everything right and i mean that's not aimed at anyone in particular but i, I think it's just a common common theme among people in general i mean i even i'm guilty of it just you, you tend to like to show the wins better so showing a little kind of funny loss there is i think useful and interesting so this last card, kind of a teaser, like I said, anyone looking closely might look familiar. That complete collection I bought, this card came back. <clears throat> it's not in the original slab it was in. It was cracked for review. It was a PSA 8. I'm not going to show you now what it is, but I will show you on Friday. I intended to open the MetaZoo product for Friday. That's running late. So I will give you that spreadsheet update from the collection purchase. And before I reveal the grade in that video, we'll really, I'll, I'll get it out of the case. We'll really look at it closer. We'll look at the front, the back. We'll, I'll kind of let everyone hopefully judge for themselves what they believe the grade should be. And then we'll show what it is, talk about what it is and talk about the whole customer review center process that PSA has. Um, yeah, that's, that's everything for today. Um, maybe like once a month I'll plan on doing these collection videos. It's or purchase videos. It's tough because a lot of times when I buy something, I like to get it listed instantly or I like to get it shipped out immediately um, to troll and toad or grading, whatever I'm doing with it. But like in this case, there's there's probably more things that I bought this month that just aren't here because they're already already sent out somewhere. But yeah, either way, I, I think it was hopefully a fun little interesting video. And uh, yeah, that's it. I will catch you all later. I'm going to pop this into that video somewhere. <laughs> I forgot to mention... One of the things that I've been consistently buying, not just the past month, but like, I don't even remember exactly when this promotion went on, but sealed cases, not a meme, not a joke, sealed cases of the McDonald's promos. At the time, they were like big hype. People were going. I wasn't one of those guys buying out the McDonald's, keeping the kids from getting their stickers and their... Their scenic backgrounds to put their stickers on and their packs of guaranteed hollow Pokemon cards. We might, oh, we might as well open one while I'm talking. Um, but yeah, now that like the hype has died down and no one cares anymore. Wow, this card is kind of rough shape. I don't know if you can see it on the bottom there, but almost looks like hollow bleed, but it's like in a weird pattern because it's like damaged in some way. But yeah, now that the hype has kind of died down. I've been getting these cases, 150 sealed packs with all the stuff in it for as low as 300 bucks a piece. So two bucks a pack. My kid is three. Well, I have two kids, three and one. Um, they love stickers. <laughs> so this is toy two. Toy two comes with all these stickers. I've got stickers forever. Um, yeah. So that's like a nice little benefit, I guess. <laughs> but I also, I send a lot of these to Troll and Toad Evo. I think they sell for six or seven bucks a piece sealed. And then a lot of the cards, oh, I'm off screen. 
a lot of these, a lot of the non hollows, especially the the mid and later ones, fifty cents or less a piece. So not much going on there. I think the cheapest hollows sell for two or three bucks. So the cheapest hollows pay for the pack. Pikachu's still doing twenty to forty bucks somewhere in there. Charmander, Bulbasaur, Squirtle, five to fifteen dollars depending on the day. And like decent volume too. I haven't opened any of these in a while, but like I'm almost sold out of the singles that I have from opening a bunch of cases before. Um, yeah, kind of a a silly little thing that no one's really thinking, talking about. It's not going to make you rich, but as far as if you want just cheap inventory that sells, it's there. Yeah, I, I just wanted to come back in and, and talk about it because I, I don't know how I've got... I've got a few cases sitting right next to me and I, I had just one of these pulled out for, for talking about in the video, but I figured I pulled all my Greninjas cause I was recording the next video. I figured I'd pull out a bunch of these for the backdrop because yeah, that's kind of another thing I'm doing the same Greninja thing with whenever I see them pop up for the right price. So that is all for real this time. I will catch you all later.